What's up guys? For today's watch review we're going to take a look at the new version of the Timex Command. This one is called the Timex Command Fast Wrap and then this older version is just called the Timex Command Shock and I'll have the model numbers displayed here on the screen for you. Before we get into the review let's do a quick wrist check. I'm currently rocking my Nixon Regulus in the stainless steel version in the gold coloration. An absolutely beautiful, fun, awesome watch check it out I've done a review on it uh, and if you don't want to watch the review just go ahead and buy one it's a fantastic watch but going back to the Timex let's start off with our first talking point which will be a 360 I'll do a 360 of this watch first and then uh, a 360 actually you know what we'll just do it together so you can see the major differences so case pack is pretty much exactly the same as well as the buttons so the only thing that's different is the color and then obviously the band and then some minor differences on the screen on the new version you've got less displayed which I think is actually more because you have less clutter larger display or larger numbers and that's always a good thing I'm trying not to get the glare here all right next talking point is price Unfortunately, they weren't able to make this cheaper than the old version. MSRP on the Timex website is $99. I was able to buy this after taxes and shipping and handling for $90 off of some website I found on Google. So just look around and you'll be able to find a cheaper price. Not by a lot, but definitely cheaper than what the Timex website is trying to sell it to you for. Alright, uh, next talking point is functions so let's go over the well first let's go over the screen so on the screen the major difference is as I said there was less displayed here so on the old version of the command you've got some things here so whichever menu you're on there'll be a little arrow pointed to to one of these where so chronometer if you're on the stopwatch there'll be an arrow next to that and then an arrow next to timer if you're on the timer menu and so on and so forth so just kind of an unnecessary feature you know you don't really need that displayed in order for you to recognize what menu you're on so I think they recognize that it got rid of it so you've got really all you need which is the time and the calendar Let me go ahead and move this all right and then the first menu is the chronometer timer hydration alarm alarm one two three and back to main time and if you can see here these two symbols the volume symbol and the shaking basically it's the it's the symbol indicating that your watch is set to vibration mode so if you have an alarm set it will not only make a noise as indicated by this volume symbol but it will also vibrate so that's always a great thing. Uh, another good thing about it is if you hit the light, so this is the Indiglo button, and you're scrolling through the menus, the light will stay on for however long that you are pushing in buttons. And obviously if you don't touch the watch for you know three seconds, the light will turn off, but that is also an excellent feature that sadly G-Shocks do not have. So in that regard, this definitely is a way more practical watch out in the dark in the field um, than G-Shock is. All right, next talking point. I gotta whip out my list here. Uh, next talking point is illumination. All right, speak of the devil. So let me go ahead and set this down, and I'll show you illumination for both watches, just so you can see. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights. So for the first one, I will show you the new Timex. So this is the fast wrap, and then this is the old command. So let's try and do this at the same time here. There you go. So hands down, the Timex fast wrap is far better in my opinion. Right, let me go ahead and turn on the lights again. Oh no, where'd it go? Here it is, I brought it with me. 
Oh shit. Alright, next item is visibility. So I would say visibility on the old command is actually better just because the numbers look more bright. This one it's more subtle, but I guess it makes up for the dimmer display with the larger numbers. So I'm not really going to dock any points on that. I think they're both equally visible. Just this one is slightly brighter. Alright, next talking point is a button and crown placement. Uh, same as the old version of the command. I wish they could have done a better job like maybe putting a bumper in the center or something something to prevent you from hitting the buttons accidentally because let's say for example you are in a uh, technical field or in the military something that requires you um, to monitor time or measure time if you're in the middle of an evolution and these buttons aren't that well protected and you hit a button causing you to inadvertently stop the stopwatch or timer and you don't know that that's not a good thing so you know it's just a small complaint a minor complaint obviously for the rest of the population it really doesn't matter I think just the fact that this is sold as a tactical slash outdoorsy kind of watch I think they could have done a better job at protecting these buttons but that is also something Timex has never really been good at in their digital expedition watches um, but also that's just my preference uh, Next item is band quality and comfort. So quality is for a nylon strap. It is what it is. It's comfortable enough. I have no complaints with it. I don't like nylon straps just because I I don't know. Not I've never had any issues with it. That's really just a personal preference for most people. Um, the good thing is that there isn't really a high sweat factor because it'll just absorb all the sweat. The only bad thing is that it's going to absorb all the sweat. So, um, if you're a clean freak like me, you know you will find yourself constantly needing to wash this in warm water and some mild dish detergent or whatever, which is not difficult. It's just something you got to do if you do care about the cleanliness of your watch and just overall general sanitation. But other than that, for what it is, it is a fantastic watch. I have very thick wrists, and it fits my wrists just fine with plenty of room to grow. Not, I, you know, I hope that my wrist doesn't grow. And then, next item is my overall thoughts. Really, it hasn't changed that much from the the old command. I will, I do like it. So I'll just put that out there. I, I've liked the original command because of its big face and its just overall. Uh, tactical look you know I'm a I'm a basic bitch when it comes to tactical things so I did very much like the old command uh, this one I like just as much the one thing that I do like is uh, these band holders I guess is that what they're called I want to say I know they're plastic it would have been cool if they're metal but either way they feel very sturdy um, and the major differences of this watch are all good things I, I don't think that they took away anything by taking away the this second counter or these little labels here. I think they took away unnecessary information that just overly cluttered the screen. This is everything you need. Um, I will say for the for the price, my main complaint with the old command was that I felt like I wasn't getting a hundred dollars worth of stuff because there are plenty of other digital expeditions in Timex's um, inventory that are not significantly cheaper, but you know, thirty or forty dollars cheaper that essentially have the same stuff. And you were paying a hundred dollars for this watch just because it was, you know, cooler looking. Um, but is it worth ninety to one hundred dollars? Maybe. I think you know, real realistically. This would be a phenomenal watch at sixty to seventy dollars, uh, because the the materials you know you're not really getting a hundred dollars worth of materials in my opinion. Um, the screen is acrylic, just like the old one, so very high scratch factor. 
So if you're not careful, your screen is going to be covered in scratches. It is raised a little bit here, so you know it will be protected from minor falls and such. But if you're banging it around a lot, then expect a lot of scratches. Uh, other than that, mostly positive review. I do like the look of this watch. It is very good looking, and it doesn't feel cheap. The band is very sturdy. So, should you buy it? Yeah, you know, if, if this is what you like and it looks good to you, I mean, it's a great watch. It's going to handle everything, and it'll, it'll give you everything you need and a little bit more. So, I, I give it a thumbs up. So, take it or leave it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this video, and I hope that it helps you with your next watch purchase. Thanks for watching, and tune in for my next episode. Alright, bye.